and I'm just sitting taking a break by this beautiful view. Virginia and I do need to resupply there and I have a package at a hostel there and it's just a matter of whether or not I get sucked into the town vortex. Um, I might stay there. I don't really need to push on because I don't like because I have to be at a certain point for uh, to be picked up on Friday but um, I might anyways just to like not have to spend money at the town or at the hostel. Um, yeah, last night I stayed at Woods Hole and it was it was pretty incredible. It has a pretty strong reputation. It's one of the most popular hostels on the AT and it, it lived up to its name. A really wonderful environment, beautiful space, uh, really cool dogs, great dinner, great, great breakfast. Um, so definitely worth checking out if you're ever out here. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. See you later. Just past some day hikers. They smelled so good, like deodorant and soap. It was so nice. Hello, day 61, and I'm just like not feeling it. Uh, Took a lunch break at the top of this bald when I was only seven miles in and sat there for an hour. I'm just feeling lazy. Um, plus, I got a late start. I stayed at Angel's Rest Hostel in um, Parisburg last night. And I don't know, I guess it was a cool hostel. I just wasn't really feeling it because I just stayed at a hostel before and I only did 10 miles yesterday. But this morning, I was waking up really early and getting ready to start early when I realized like, oh, I'm a few miles from the trail. I have to wait until the hostel does the shuttle to get back to the trail. So I wanted to start hiking at like six and didn't start hiking until eight, till eight. Um, and it's hot, um, but that's all. May 10th, which means that I have been out here for two months. Two month trail anniversary. Woohoo! Um, and that'll put me at like at the end of the day, I'm gonna be at like a mile 670. Uh, my first month, I completed exactly 300 miles or just a little bit more. Um, so I am getting faster, obviously, that I was able to do 70 miles more, but it probably would have been closer to 170 miles more had I not taken five days off for the funeral. So um, my pace is increasing at a good pace. Uh, so that's good. Um, let's see, I got out of camp at like eight o'clock, which um, is normally not too early, but the group I was with, um, they all got out later than that. So I was on the first one on the trail this morning, which means I get to clear out all the spider webs that got built overnight. So I've just been like pff, pff, all day. But you also get to see more wildlife when you hit the trail before anyone else. So seeing two bunnies and a little lizard thing. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, I think it's an 18 mile day and then I'm just hanging out two miles before the road that um, I'm getting picked up at tomorrow. And that is that. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Also, this is the trail today. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Not even sure like what part of this I'm supposed to walk on. And once again, I'm being actively pursued by a thunderstorm. Can you see how dark it is back there? Um, <laughs> except this time I think it's gonna catch me. Uh, I can get to a shelter in about an hour, 
but I think it's coming in faster than that. So luckily the train's not as rocky as it was earlier today. So I'm just moving as fast as I can, hoping I can get in this shelter or at least off of this ridge line before it hits. So wish me luck. Bye. Day 63. Um, I just have two and a half miles to where I'm meeting um, my sister's godparents who are going to pick me up, take me to her graduation. I'm meant to leave camp at like 6 30, didn't get out of there till like 6 45, and then um, there's a bunch of stream crossings which the water's really high because of the rain that we had yesterday, um, so they just take a little longer. So, I'm coming, I'm coming, John and Connie. I'm gonna be there, I just might be late. And I have no way to tell any of that because I'm in the mountains and there's no cell phone service. Whew. Anyways, hope everyone else is doing great. Have a good weekend, bye. Welcome to Picasso's Wilderness Makeover, makeover Tutorial. Today we're going to start with some clean wipes. Now I like to be as frugal as possible when using these wipes. So one wipe, I'll start with my face because that is what I want to be the cleanest and then I move on to my hands, and when I'm done using them on my hands, I'll use them to get most of the dirt off of my feet as well. Next, I wanna make sure that my hair looks as fresh as possible. These braids have been in for about two days, so they're a little gnarly, so I'm going to re-braid them. Okay, so once your dirty hair is successfully tied back and out of your face, um, the next major th concern you want to have before going into civilization is your smell. Um, so obviously I'm pretty stinky. Most of it is in my clothes. Uh, so I carry a dress just for town. So it's what I wear when I'm doing my laundry um, and when I'm walking around town. So I'm going to change into that because it's going to be the least smelly of all the clothes that I have. And that's about it. That's how you go from looking nasty in the wilderness to fresh as you possibly can for town. Bye!